Eight hours after leaving Lisbon, the giant plane carrying Mr. Wendell Wilkie arrives at a British airport. He's in this country to talk to citizens and ministers alike and to gain the fullest information on our war effort. Before taking plane to London, Mr. Wilkie says a few words of greeting. I'm glad to be in England, <laughs> for whose cause I have the utmost sympathy and for whose cause I'm attempting to do my part in United, all of the United States, so that we may give the utmost aid to Britain in its struggle for the free men all over the world. Thank you very much. Now, off to the capital. One of his first appointments is at the Ministry of Information, where Home Guardsmen form a guard of honor. A press conference brings a battery of questions from the assembled journalists. My friend? Well, I haven't any formal plans. As I said last night, I've always had the bad habit of writing and speaking. Mr. Wilkie, do you intend visiting the provinces? Well, I want to talk uh, with some of your officials first, but I undoubtedly want to go to Manchester, up in the industrial sections. Uh, I want to go to the devastated uh, towns, those towns that have been particularly struck, uh, and as many other places as I can. <laughs> Magnificent. I like their nerve, see? They got it. I haven't talked to anybody that's downhearted, and I've talked to everybody I could see up to date. They're great. But I didn't expect anything less. Mr. Wilkie, on the freedom of democracy. I'm honestly impressed with this very press conference, with England under attack and that the, in war, that you can meet here with me and I can meet with you in a free discussion. Uh, I think that's democracy at work. I think it's wonderful, and I hope you always keep it alive here in England. Good luck to all of you. Following the press conference, Mr. Wilkie visits Mr. Churchill at number 10 to deliver up in person a letter entrusted to him by President Roosevelt. Surrounded by press photographers, the Prime Minister and America's private citizen number one take leave of each other in the street to the delight of the cameramen. Britain extends a warm welcome to a good friend. 